finally, let's look at potential fold conditions that you might experience in the circuit breaker and the surge protection device areas of the system. Faults in the circuit breaker are very easy to spot and verify. In normal system operation, both circuit breakers are in the on position. If a circuit breaker is found in the off position, then it may have been either switched off by a service person and left in the off position by mistake, or switched off by an overcurrent surge to troubleshoot the circuit breaker. First look at the entire system for physical damage. Look for areas where overheating may occur. If a damaged component is found, replace it. Most likely the circuit breaker is not damaged. The circuit breaker can be tested by first removing its inputs and then running a continuity test. First in the on position, where you should measure a short circuit, and then in an off position, where you should measure an open circuit. If no damage was found or the circuit breaker test was performed and indicated a functioning circuit breaker, go through the turn on sequence. Switch the battery on, then the solar panel, and then conduct a system test. Faults in the surge protector device are easy to spot. Now if you look closely at the top of the surge protection device, you will see a small square window. If the window is red, it indicates that the surge protection device has been damaged by a high voltage transient, which is most likely caused as a result of a nearby lightning strike. In this case, remove the module from the base and replace it. To replace the module in the surge suppression device, first begin by switching off all power to the system. Begin with the solar panel, and then the battery. Once the power is switched off to the system, you can remove the module and then replace it with a new module. It snaps right back into place and then the power then is sequenced back on beginning with the battery and then the solar panel.